Good afternoon, everyone. This is a Dungeons and Dragons Adventures in the Forgotten Realms Collector Booster Box opening with the boys. Another set has arrived, and you know what that means. Time to open some boosters. So without further ado, This collector booster box does not have any box toppers like uh, some in the past have. Alright, go ahead. Let's go with this one. Get an adventure. Just like this new mattress set. Um, Arcane Investigator, uh, search the room, pay six, roll a d20. A one through nine, draw a card. One through ten, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in, a, in any order. Swarming Goblins, uh, when it enters, roll a d20. Uh, one through nine, one goblin. Uh, creature token. Um, 10, 3, 19, 2 tokens, 23 tokens. A uh, Ranger's Hawk, flying, 3 tap, tap another untapped creature you control, uh, venture into the dungeon only as a sorcery. Uh, enter the first room or advance to the next room in a dungeon. Scaled Herbalist. Tap. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Um, Prosperous Innkeeper. Um, when it enters, create a treasure. Um, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Um, Displacer Beast. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, venture into the dungeon. Um, four. Uh, return it to its owner's hand are special cool looking swamps and flans. Um, teleportation circle. At the beginning of your up end step, um, exile the top target, exile up to one target artifact or creature you control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. Dragonborn champion, uh, tramping, um, Whenever a source you control deals five or more damage to a player, draw a card. Skeletal Swarm. Uh, each skeleton you control has trample, attacks each combat if able, and gets plus X plus zero, where X is the number of other skeletons you control. At the beginning of your end step, create a tapped 1-1 one, one black skeleton creature token. If a creature died this turn, create two of those tokens instead. Pixie Guide, uh, flying, grant an advantage. Uh, you get to roll two dice and ignore the lower one. Airbore Pegasus, flying, whenever it enters the battlefield, target creature you control gets plus one, plus one, and gains flying until end of turn. Um, Volo Guide to Monsters. Um, whenever you cast a creature spell that doesn't share a creature type with a creature you control or creature card in your graveyard, copy that spell. Um, Kyler, Balder, Gate, um, whenever, whenever it deals damage to a player, that player loses one life and mills a card, um, then you gain one life and scry one. Whenever you attack, you may pay two. If you do, target creature can't be blocked this turn. Ooh, a special looking card. Hall of Storm. Um, 
land, if you control two or more other lands, Hall of Storm Giants enters the battlefield tapped. Uh, tap for blue, and then six until end of turn, Hall of Storm Giants becomes a 7-7 seven, seven blue giant creature token with ward three. It's still a land. And then treasure and a uh, sword thing. I like those alternate art module cards. So just in case you were wondering what a dungeon is, we got these cool full these cool foil dungeons. Maybe a little hard to read down there at the bottom, but if you can, there you go. Yeah, there's some awesome new mechanics like roll a d20 or venture into the dungeon. And they're just things that they pretty much just stole straight out of Dungeons and Dragons and plopped it into magic. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Alright. We've got Plummet. Armory Veteran, as long as it is as it is as long as it is it is, is equipped. equipped, it has menace. Uh, the Air Cult Elemental, Flying Whirlwind, when it enters, put return up to one other target creature to its owner's hand. Enchant land, uh, when find the path enters the battlefield, venture into the dungeon. Enchanted land has tap to add two green mana. Nice. Uh, <coughs> Guild Thief. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Uh, and then it has cunning action. You can pay for it can't be blocked this turn. Uh, Reaper's Talesman. Whenever equipped creature attacks, it gains death touch until end of turn. Whenever equipped creature attacks alone, defending player loses two life and you gain two life, and it has equipped two. And then our island with flavor text. That always throws me off. I think it's something more special. Mm -hmm. uh, one, two, Malison. It can't be blocked as long as it's attacking alone. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, venture into the dungeon. Grim Hireling. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, create two treasure tokens. And then you can pay one black, sacrifice X treasures, target creature gets plus X, or minus X, minus X until end of turn. Activate only as a sorcery. Wah wah. The Long Rest. Return X cards, or X target cards with different mana values from your graveyard to your hand. If X is more, or if eight or more cards were returned to your hand this way, your life total becomes equal to your starting life total. Exile long rest. Wow. Oh, we've got a mimic in the cool art. You can tap, sacrifice it, uh, add one mana of any color. Or you can pay two. It becomes a shapeshifter artifact creature with base power and toughness 3-3 three, three until end of turn. Oh, nice. This is a cool card. It is the... Temple of the Dragon Queen. Uh, it's a land as it enters the battlefield. You, re you may reveal a card from your hand. Temple of the Dragon enters the battlefield tapped unless you reveal a dragon card this way or you control a dragon. As Temple of the Dragon Queen enters the battlefield, choose a color and you can tap for any color. Another cool looking card. The Cave of the Frost Dragon land if you control two or more other lands it enters the battlefield tapped uh you can tap to add one white or tap five uh cave of the frost dragon becomes a three four white dragon with creature with flying until end of turn it's still a land i like that man land cycle it's pretty nice mm -hmm. aborea pegasus uh, flying when it enters the battlefield, return target creature, get, er, when it enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus one, plus one, and gains flying until end of turn. And then you've got the instrument of bards. At the beginning of your un up, at the beginning of your upkeep, you might put a harmony counter on instrument of the bards. You can bat t pay four and tap this creature your, sir, wait. Search your library for a creature card with mana value equal to the number of harmony counters on instrument of the bards. Reveal it, put it into your hand. If that card is legendary, create a treasure token. Then shuffle. Then you've got your devil and other token.
Gloomstalker. As long as you've completed a dungeon, Gloomstalker has double strike. Precipitous Drop. Enchant Creature. When Precipitous Drop enters the battlefield, venture into the dungeon. Enchanted Creature gets minus two, minus two. It gets minus five, minus five instead as long as you've completed a dungeon. You come to the Null Camp. Choose one. Intimidate them. Up to two target creatures can't block this turn. Fend them off. Target creature gets plus three, plus one until end of turn. Boule. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature died this turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Feywild Trickster. Whenever you roll one or more dice, create a 1-1 one, one blue fairy dragon creature token with flying. Oh, that would be nice in the dice roll deck. Death Priest of Miracle. Skeletons, vampires, and zombies you control get plus one, plus one. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature died this turn, you may pay one. If you do, create a 1-1 one, one black skeleton creature token. Got an island. Werewolf Pack Leader. Pack Tactics. Whenever Werewolf Pack Leader attacks, if you attacked with creatures with total power 6 or greater this combat, draw a card. Pay 3 and a green. Until end of turn, Werewolf Pack Leader has base power and toughness 5-3, gains trample, and isn't a human. Chaos Dragon. Flying Haste. Chaos Dragon attacks each combat if able. At the beginning of combat on your turn, each player rolls a d20. If one or more opponents had the highest result, Chaos Dragon can't attack those players or planeswalkers they control this combat. That's from the Commander Precons. Tasha's Hideous Laughter. I love this card. I saw this do so much damage at pre-release last night. Each opponent exiles cards from the top of their library until that player has exiled cards with total mana value 20 or more. Ha 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 ha, indeed. Barrowin of Clan Undur. When Barrowin of Clan Undur enters the battlefield, venture into the dungeon. Whenever Barrowin of Clan Undur attacks, return up to one creature card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield if you've completed a dungeon. So you can see that mechanic if you've completed a dungeon. Black, white, um, that's the main theme of, of the color pair. Black Dragon in the full art. Flying Acid Breath. When Black Dragon enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls get, gets minus three, minus three until end of turn. Hall of Storm Giants. We saw that one already. Never Winter Dryad. Pay two, sack it. Search your library for a basic forest card. Put it onto the battlefield. Tap, then shuffle. Zalto Fire Giant Duke. Trample whenever... Zalto is dealt damage, venture into the dungeon. I got that one as my promo for my pre-release kit yesterday. And Spider Wolf, Spider Queen token combo. Next pack. Okay, Boots of Speed. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus own, has haste. Equip, no. Uh, hired a hex blade. Uh, whenever it ends the battlefield, if mana from a treasure was spent to cast it, you draw a card and lose one life. You find a cursed idol. Choose one. Smash it. Lift the curse, steal its eyes, destroy target artifact, destroy target enchantment, create a treasure token, and venture into the dungeon. Gnarly. <laughs> uh, dwarf Hold Champion. As long as it's equipped, it gets plus O, plus two. White Dragon. Um, flying. Cold Breath. When it enters the battlefield, tar tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Hunter's Mark. This spell costs three less to cast. 
If it targets blue permanent, you don't control. This spell can't be countered. Tar target creature you control gets plus one, plus one, no, plus one, plus one until end of turn. Then it deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker you don't control. Planes. Ooh. Drizzit do Erden. Uh, double strike. When it enters the battlefield, create its little tiger friend over here. A legendary 4-1 green cat creature token with trample. Whenever a creature dies, if it had power greater than Drizzit's power, put a number of plus one plus one counters on it equal to the difference. Winged Boots. Quick creature has flying and ward four. Wow. So the ward mechanic means if it's targeted, um, the opponent has to pay a cost. In this case, it's pay four mana. Sometimes it's just discarding cards or paying life. So that's a pretty powerful effect. Oh yeah, you're gonna play a four mana spell to try and get rid of it. Oh yeah, that four mana spell is now an eight mana spell. Good job. Um, Hobo Hobgoblin Bandit Lord. Uh, other goblins get plus one, plus one. Uh, red and tap, it deals damage equal to the number of goblins that enter the battlefield under your control this turn to any target. Ooh, it's the dude. It's the dude. The dude. It's the dude on the back. No dude. Hey, dude. No. Dude. 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 Baleful Beholder. When it enters the battlefield, choose one. Anti-magic cone. Each opponent sacrifices an enchantment. Fear ray. Creatures you control gain menace until end of turn. Six five. Wait, is he a comet? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. How dare they put a comet on the special packs? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hulk bird. Bugbear. Exxon. Um, if you... Zorn. Oh, Zorn. If you control one or more treasure tokens, instead, creature, create those tokens... No. Better late than never. If you would create one or more creature tokens, treasure tokens, instead, create those tokens plus an additional treasure token. Mantolin's Core. Flying, flash flying, tail spikes. When it enters the battlefield, destroy target creature and opponent controls that was dealt damage this turn. Wow. Here Wizards we go. Spellbook. Um, exile target instant sorcery card from a graveyard. Ah, uh, graveyard. Roll d20. Activate only as a sorcery. One through nine. Copy that card. You may cast the copy. One through nineteen. Copy that card. You may cast the copy by paying one rather than paying its mana cost. Twenty. Copy each card exiled with spellbook with wizards with wizard spellbook. You may cast any number of the copies without paying their mana costs. Whew. Then Dungeon of the Mad Mage and Goblin. That's pretty legitimate. Ooh, that's rough. It's kind of filled with legitness. We got the dude. We got the dude. The dude. Let's see. You find a villain's lair. You can either choose to foil their scheme to counter target spell or learn their secrets. Draw two cards, then discard two cards. We've got Orbea Pegasus. Flying when it enters, target creature gets plus one plus one and gains flying until end of turn. Spoils of the Hunt. Target creature you control gets plus one plus zero until end of turn for each mana from a treasure that was spent to cast the spell. 
Then that creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature and opponent controls. Devoted Paddlin. Uh, it has the Beacon of Hope. When it, whenever, or wait, when it enters the battlefield, the creatures you control get plus one plus one and gain vigilance until end of turn. Ooh, Targnar Demon Fang Null. Uh, it has the pack tactics. Whenever it attacks, if you attack with creatures with total power six or greater, this combat attacking creatures get plus one plus zero oh until end of turn. You can then pay four and double its power and toughness until end of turn. Nice. The rally maneuver. Target creature gets plus two plus zero and gains first strike until end of turn. Up to one other target creature gets plus one or plus zero plus two and gains lifelink until end of turn. Our flavorful swamp. Ooh, the wish. You may play a card you own from outside the game this turn. Oh, that's disgusting. It is. <laughs> Radiant Solar, flying lifelink whenever. Uh, Radiant Solar or another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control. Venture into the dungeon. You can pay one white, discard it, uh, venture into the dungeon, and you gain three life. So, funny story about a wish card. A couple sets ago, there was another wish card like that, and a player had played it during our pre-release event. And he went into his uh, EDH deck and grabbed out <laughs> a very overpowered card and tried to play with it. And uh, <laughs> quickly got a judge called on him and was, was <laughs> politely asked to put that back away. Uh, if you are playing limited events, wish cards only pertain to your sideboard or your card pool that you have for the event. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would have done, probably. Uh, we've got the Circle of Dreams right, Druid. Judge! <laughs> uh, you can tap add one green for each creature you control. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a little, uh... Little, little. Yeah. Yeah. Null Hunter does pack tactics. Whenever you... Or whenever it attacks, if you attacked with creatures with total power six or greater this combat, put a plus one, plus one counter on the Hunter Null. Or the Null Hunter. We've got the Manticore. Flying Flash Tail Spikes. Salto the Fire Giant Duke. Fly or er, Trample. Whenever it is dealt damage, venture into the dungeon. And it's a 7-3. There it is. Oh, there it is. Been waiting on that one. Evolving Wilds in the <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons cool art. The module art. Yes. Layer of the Hydra. If you control two more lands, it enters the battlefield tapped. You can tap to add green and tap X and one green. Until end of turn, it becomes an XX green Hydra creature that's still a land. X cannot be zero. Then you've got a treasure and an indestructible 8-8. Eight eight. <laughs> nice. That is scary to just think about what card creates that. So this video is being brought to you by Dueling Land. It's a card shop in Aurora, Colorado. Uh, right now, uh, we got this product at that store. Got some other product at the store. Uh, spoiler alert: going to be opening one of these set booster boxes on stream in the in the future. Not tonight, though. Um, they also have the buy a box promos, which is this stunning full art uh, Vorpal Sword. Super powerful, super cool. Uh, last I checked, they still had a few of those left. So, uh, you know, if you are in, in the need for some magic product, some of the products came out this weekend. They still had a couple of the commander decks. Uh, I think they were sold out of pre-release kits, but hopefully by next week they'll have some more of that stuff in stock. Uh, they'll have normal draft boosters and uh, bundle boxes and things next week as well when the official release of this set comes out. Uh, but if you do need anything from them, uh, you can check them out on the web. They're active on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, send our guys a message if you need some product, uh, especially if you're local to the Denver area. They said they'll have more on Thursday. It's official. I figured they would. The, their first 
uh, run of stock wasn't as much as they had anticipated, so. Great Axe, equipped creature gets plus four, plus oh, but equip five, ouch. Fate's Reversal, return up to one target creature card from your graveyard to your hand, venture into the dungeon. Hoarding Ogre, when it attacks, roll a d20, and you get one, two, or three treasures, depending on the outcome. Herald of Hadar, circle of death, pay five and a black, and roll a d20. Each opponent loses two life, they lose two life and you gain two, or each opponent loses two, you gain two, and create two treasures. <coughs> treasures theme in black as well. Dragon's Disciple. As Dragon's Disciple enters the battlefield, you may reveal a dragon card from your hand. If you do, or if you control a dragon, Dragon's Disciple enters the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter on it. Dragons you control have Ward 1. Choose your weapon. Two weapon fighting. Double target creature's power and toughness until end of turn. Archery. This spell deals five damage to target creature with flying. I really like the design of these modal cards. Um, it means that, that you have better options um, when deck building. The mountain. Oh, the mountain. Dragon's Descent. Enters the battlefield tap. Tap to add colorless. Pay for and tap. Tap an untapped legend, legendary creature you control. Venture into the dungeon. Activate only as a sorcery. Grave Endeavor. Roll 2d10 and choose one result. Return a creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield with a number of plus one plus one counters on it equal to that result. Then each opponent loses x life and you gain x life where x is the other result. That's a fun card design. That's also in the Commander Precon. Guardian of Faith, Flash Vigilance. When Guardian of Faith enters the battlefield, any number of other target creatures you control phase out. So phasing is a mechanic which essentially, it's like putting a blanket over the battlefield. They're still on the battlefield, they still exist, but they don't exist at the same time, like Schrodinger's cat. Like they're there, but they're not there. Neverwinter Dryad. Genie Windseer. Flying, when it enters, roll a d20. You scry one, two, or three based on the outcome. Tiamat! Full art! Woo! Woohoo! We saw. We did it! We did it! We did it! We saw uh, someone at the pre release la yesterday hard cast this. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> Alright, so Tiamat, two. Wooberg, Legendary Dragon God. Flying, when Tiamat enters the battlefield, if you cast it, search your library for up to five dragon cards not named Tiamat that each have different names. Reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle. I think we hit it there, boys. That's the one right there. Oh, yeah. Lurking Reaper. Lurking Reaper doesn't untap during your untap step. Whenever you gain life, untap it. Mint's Beloved Ranger. This is Naya for when Miss enters the battlefield, create Boo, a legendary 1 1 red hamster creature token with trample and haste. Pay X until end of turn. Target creature you control has base power and toughness XX and becomes a giant in addition to its other types. Activate only as a sorcery. And our token. Man, that... You, you, you dreaming of commander decks? Dreaming about making some commander? Some no. five-color goodness? Gonna live the dream? Cool. You're thinking about it. Look at that smile. <laughs> He's thinking about it. Potion of healing. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. Uh, white tap, sacrifice it. You gain three life. Uh, doing rapier. Um, flash, when it enters the battlefield, attack your target creature you control. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus oh, equipped four. Sikian of Stygia. Scion of St Stygia? Yeah. yeah. Flash, come of cold. 
When it enters the battlefield, choose target creature and opponent controls, then roll a d20. Tap that creature, or tap that creature. Doesn't untap during its controls, next untap step. Delivers torch. Delver's torch. Equipped creature get equipped creature gets plus one plus one. When equipped creature hey, Jerry. attacks. Hello. When equipped creature attacks, venture into the dungeon. Equipped three. You get to hear us butcher all these old D and D names. <laughs> yep. Moon blessed cleric. Divine intervention. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an enchantment card, reveal it, then shuffle that, and then shuffle and put that card on top. I did something wrong there. No, you did it right. Search for an enchantment card, reveal it, then shuffle your library. They, they, they drop the your library part and put that card, so you're going to put an enchantment on top of your library. Red Dragon, flying fire breathing. When enters the battlefield, do four damage to target opponent. Do each opponent. Spreading that fire all across everybody's face. Ranger's class. So classes are like sagas, but you have to pay to level them up. And all of these are just straight static abilities. So you get each of them. And they're fun. They're really awesome. This one's one of the best. Apparently this one is one of the best. Let's read it. So. When Ranger class enters the battlefield, create a 2-2 green wolf creature token. Pay 2, level it up. Whenever you attack, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on target attacking creature. Wow. Wow. Yep. When it, and then level up four mana for level three. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. You may cast creature spells from the top of your library. Huh. That is indeed broken. Yeah. On to the next card. Wolf On to the next card. Wolfgar of Icewind Dale. Melee. 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 Is that, is that how you spell melee? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Huh. If a creature you control attacking would cause a triggered ability of permanent you control to trigger, that, a big, that ability triggers twice. Narda. That's from the uh, Commander Precon as well. That's pretty cool. Dancing Sword. Equipped creature gets plus two, plus one. Whenever equipped creature dies, you may have Dancing Sword become a two-one construct artifact with flying and ward one. If you do, it isn't an equipment. Equip one. Ooh. Purple worm. Purple worm. <laughs> yes. oh. It's so nice. <laughs> well, what does it do? This creature costs two less to cast if a creature died this turn. Oh, it must be in uh, black or green, huh? It's green. in green. And it's ward two. So... And it's an eight seven. Yeah. If it's in green, why is it purple? That I was just thinking <laughs> that. <laughs> Time for a sixth magic color. Ooh. And then it just that. turns into Pokemon and just start making colors like it's nothing. Just, just tossing out color, colors like it's hotcakes. Yep. <laughs> Trellis Sara. Moon Dancer. Legendary creature. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on Trelessa and scry one. Delina Wild Mage. Um 
Whenever it attacks, choose target creature you control, then roll a d20. Wow, this is really awkward rolling standard things. 1 through 14. Creature, create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of that creature, except it's not legendary and it has exile this creature at the end of combat. Hmm. And then, 15 to 20, create one of those tokens. Roll again. Roll again. Woo! So, are you already thinking about deck building with some of this? Trellisara Moon, Dance, Moon Dancer? Jerry, it does look pretty, pretty powerful. I bet there's some really great stuff you could abuse with that. Oh, already did. Oh. All right. Gauntlet thrown down. All right. Special art, blue dragon. Flying. Lightning breath. When it enters the battlefield until your next turn, nice. one, one guy gets minus three minus O. Oh. Another guy gets minus two minus O. Oh, and the third guy gets minus one minus zero. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, that, that, uh... I lost a game on pre-release to that blue dragon. Huh, then maybe I should have been playing it. <laughs> <laughs> the blue, the book of exalted deeds. Legendary artifact. At the beginning of combat, no, at the beginning of your end step, if you gain three or more life this turn, create a 3-3 three, three white angel creature token with flying. White, white, white. Tap. Exile the book. Put an enlightened counter on target angel. It gains you can't lose the game and your opponents can't win. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Don't, don't yeah. need to finish that sentence. <laughs> I think we all know what it's trying to do. Yeah, that's that's the old um Oh. Platinum Angel. Yeah, Platinum Angel on a stick. <laughs> so all of the dragons so you may have missed this we did open a full art tiamat for the five color dragon shenanigans we actually saw a guy hard cast this um at pre-release yesterday pretty crazy Woo! let's open a blue dragon black dragon red dragon green dragon and white dragon and, and then all everybody the Minus seven, minus seven. Woo! Plus all the multicolored dragons. This yeah. sounds really fun. Yeah, I think I've only seen one open so far. Mm -hmm. All right. Horde robber. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. Paladin shield. Flash when it enters the battlefield. Attach it to target creature you control. Equipped creature is plus zero, plus two. Oh, this one's a fun card. Uh, Mordakens and Polymorph. Until end of turn, target creature becomes a dragon with base power and toughness 4-4 four, four, and gains flying. Mordenkainen. More oh, yeah, Mordenkainen. There's a few more syllables in there, bud. Yeah. <laughs> We've got the spare dagger. Uh, equipped creature gets plus one, plus so and has whenever this creature attacks, you may sack the spare dagger. When you do, this creature deals one damage to any target. So I think individual collector booster packs are about 32 to $35. And the box, I believe, was about 240 So um, they'll be selling individual packs next week when released. They couldn't sell individual packs this week, uh, just the whole box. But uh, yeah, I think they still have some. All right, let's see. Oh, another blue dragon, perfect. Another blue dragon. The Warlock class. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature died this turn, each opponent loses one life. Level two is, when this class becomes level two, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand, and the rest on the graveyard. And then level three for a hefty seven mana. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses life equal to the life lost they turn th this turn. Jeez. Yeah, it's quite a bit of money for uh, just for the shiny. 
I'll admit, but it it is the price we must pay. Yeah, this is this card's actually pretty overpowered too. Um, I saw I played against a guy that had two of them, um, and that that third level stacks. So if he attacks and with a three three creature at the end at the beginning of his end step, you're gonna lose another three and then another six. So. <laughs> That's wow, awesome. that's a lot of damage. What's our favorite class cards? The green class, uh, the ranger class is definitely a good one. Uh, this black class, the warlock class that he just showed is a pretty good one. Uh, I had the blue one in my pre-release kit. Um, yeah. That was pretty good. Wizard class was fun. Yeah, wizards class. Um, I didn't play with any of the rare uh, classes, but they're also supposed to be pretty good. I didn't get any classes, so I think they're all kind of cool. Yeah. Uh, Guardian of Faith, Flash Vigilance, when it enters the battlefield, any number of other target creatures you control, phase out. Mm -hmm. That's fun. The Bag of Tricks. <laughs> oh, oh wah, wah, wah. Is, is that what I think it is? No. Okay. Because <laughs> I think that you, you know what I'm thinking of. Yes, I do. I'm just laughing because it says, Ryan has no class. Oh. Uh, you pay five, roll blah, a d8. Blah. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card with mana value equal to the result. Put that card onto the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Um, instrument, instrument of the Bards. You already saw that one. Skip it. Skip it. Underdark Basilisk. Basilisk. Yes. Death Touch 1, 2. <laughs> oh, the Bulette. This one's fun. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, if a creature died on this turn, uh, put a plus one, plus one counter on the Bulette. Oh, snap. We've got the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Uh, if you... If you control two or more other lands, Hive of the Eye Tyrant deals enters the battlefield tap. You can tap to add black. You can uh, tap four until end of turn. It enter or it becomes a three three beholder creature with menace. And whenever this creature attacks, exile target card from defending player's library or defending player's graveyard. It's still a land. Ooh, a foil and I then you've got that. Bolete. Oh, uh, we've got the Eye of Vecna. 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 I wasn't I telling I you about this? Yeah. <clears throat> no, I pulled this. Oh, you pulled the eye? Yes, I did. There's like the hand too. You can get the hand. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, when it enters the battlefield, you draw a card and lose two life. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may pay two. If you do, you draw a card and lose two life. There you go. And then treasure. Yes. Nice. We also pulled the idol, but we can steal its eyeballs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Getting down to our last couple packs for the stream today. Like I said, we'll be uh, we'll be streaming a set booster box opening. Uh, maybe tomorrow. Maybe Monday. We'll see how it goes. You see a guard approach. Distract the guard, tap target creature, or hide. Target creature you control gains hexproof until end of turn. Sylvan Shepherd, Vigilance. When it attacks, roll a d20. You gain one, two, or five life on a critical roll. Dragon's Fire. As an additional cost to cast this spell, you may reveal a dragon card from your hand or choose a dragon you control. Dragon's Fire deals 3 damage to target creature or planeswalker. If you revealed a dragon card or chose a dragon as you cast the spell, Dragon's Fire deals damage equal to the power of that card or creature instead. Yuan T. Fangblade, Death Touch. When it deals combat damage to a player, venture into a dungeon. Hey, look. Faraday, Devil's Chosen. Yeah, did you play this yesterday? Mm -hmm. How did it work for you? That was pretty cool. Yeah, I don't pretty... think that I ever got a roll of dice while she was on the board. Oh. Yeah, Dragon's Fire's nice. I, I had it in my uh, 
pre-release pool yesterday, a couple of them actually, and I'm just plunking off creatures. I didn't uh, get to use the dragons part of it though, <laughs> but that's how it goes. Anyway, whenever you roll one or more dice, Faraday, Devil's Chosen gains flying and menace until end of turn. If any of those results was 10 or higher, draw a card. Portable Hole. When Portable Hole enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls with mana value 2 or less until it leaves the battlefield. Planes. Hey, look at that. This is like your whole pre-release kit. Dude, that was my... These are both of my legendary creatures. That was my promo. And then the blue and red roll dice was another legendary creature that I got. So, did you get to cast this one? Absolutely, I got to cast him a bunch. <laughs> nice, so how'd that go? Really fun. Yeah, did you like that? Yeah. You like that? I think he played it against me. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. All right, Flying Trample. When it enters the battlefield, choose one. Each other creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn. You lose X life. Return up to X target creature cards with total mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. They gain haste. Haste until end of turn. Yeah, uh, we also, yeah, no class. We also drew uh, Planeswalkers in our kit, and he did not, and he was not happy about that either. So he was, uh, was kind of sad about that. Mantle of the Ancients. Enchant creature you control. When it enters the battlefield, return any number of target or and or equipment cards from your graveyard to the battlefield attached to Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus one, plus one for each aura and equipment attached to it. Grazalax, Illithid Scholar. Whenever a creature you control becomes blocked, you may return it to its owner's hand. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. Hama Pashar, Ruin Seeker. Room abilities of dungeons you own trigger an additional time. Alright, module Evolving Wilds on the two spot. Kelia wants to know where the mantle is from. The mantle is from uh it's from the Commander Precons. You can tell by the little fun funny squiggly uh set symbol in the corner. And if it's this one is going to be from whichever one is red and white, since the red and white, um, the Boros in this set deals with equipment. You get bonuses for equipment. All right. Nadar, Selfless Paladin. Vigilance, when it enters the battlefield or attacks, venture into the dungeon. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one, as long as you've completed a dungeon. So this is a white card that slots in uh, the white-blue strategy. Uh, we just saw Hama also deals with uh, the dungeon crawling aspect of, of this set. Temple of the Dragon Queen in the module uh, foil version. Varus Silvery Moon Ranger. Reach Ward 1. Whenever you cast a creature or planeswalker spell, venture into the dungeon. This ability triggers only once each turn. Whenever you complete a dungeon, create a 2-2 green wolf creature token. Boo! 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 <laughs> Boo! Sounds like a goat. Boo! 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 Alright, last packs for each of us. Oh man, it's a 1-1 one, one with trample. Oh. I find it works. <laughs> it's perfect timing. Boo! All right. Sepulcher Ghoul. Sacrifice another creature. It gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Activate only once each turn. A uh, veteran dungeoneer, uh, one enters the battlefield, venture into the dungeon. Hey, imagine that. Um, improvised weaponry. 
Improvised weaponry deals two damage to any target. Create a treasure token. Uh, we I ha I don't think I've seen a Bahamut at all. Dehin Windseer. Flying one enters the battlefield. Roll a d20. Uh, Scry one, two, or three. Bet you guys know which order that's in. Uh, burning Hands. Uh, burning Hands deals two damage to target creature, Planeswalker. If that permanent is green, Burning Hands deals six damage instead. Ooh! Trickster's Talesman. Um. Equip creature gets plus one plus one and has whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, you may sacrifice this. When you do, create a copy that's a create a token that's copy of that creature. And lands. Hey look, it's the guy next to Boo. It's Boo's keeper. Boo! Um whenever beloved ranger enters the battlefield when it enters the battlefield. Create a boo. A legendary 1-1 one, one red hamster creature token with trample and haste. X. Until end of turn, target creature you control has base power and toughness. XX and becomes a giant in addition to its other types. Activate only as a sorcery. Rod of Absorption. Absorption. Uh, whenever a player casts an instant sorcery spell, Exile it instead of putting it into a graveyard as it resolves. X tap. Sacrifice Rod of Absorption. Absorption. You may cast any number of spells from among cards exiled with Rod of Absorption with total mana value X or less without paying their mana costs. Wizard Spellbook. Dire Wolf Prowler. Um. Two Direwolf Prowler gets plus two plus two and gains haste until end of turn. Activate only once each turn. Shattering Skeletons. Uh, when it dies, venture into the dungeon. Treasure Vault. Uh, tap for colorless. XX. Tap it. Sacrifice Treasure Vault. Create X treasure tokens. That's a lot of treasure. Uh, under Dark Basilisk. Bidey, Bidey Basilisk. Yeah. Venomous Snakey Boy. <laughs> Treasure Chest. Uh, four Sack It. Roll a d20. Um, trapped. You lose... No. Um, here. Let's just say that this one is if you roll a one. So, trapped. You lose three life. Two to nine. Create five treasure tokens. 10 to 19, you gain three life and draw three cards. 20, search your library for a card. If it's an artifact card, you may put it onto the battlefield. Otherwise, put a card and put that card into your hand, then shuffle. I really love the design of this card because um, in Dungeons and Dragons, when you open a chest, you can actually be ambushed by it. And this is the only card in the set that penalizes you um, if you if you roll a nat one, you lose three life. But all of the other, yeah, roll a one. If you all of the other uh, roll a dice cards don't penalize you, um, you just don't get as bad as good a benefit from it. So I really like the design of this card. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Then a devil. Oh, I could have. Yeah, I could have. No, I pulled that Planeswalker, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, I had this. I ultimated it once or twice. Uh, this Planeswalker in my pre-release yesterday. Boo. 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 All right, let's see. You got Charmed Sleep. When an intertap enchanted creature, an enchanted creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Hey, we know that card from another um, uh, fairy tale set. <laughs> Inspiring Bard. When it enters, you can choose one. You can either 
by Barth Inspiration, target creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn, or Song of Rest, you gain three life. Hobgoblin Captain. Um, it has the pack tactics. If it attacked with total power six or greater, this combat it gains first strike until end of turn. Priest of Ancient Lore. When it enters the battlefield, you gain one life and draw a card. Ray of Enfeeblement. Target creature gets minus four, minus one until end of turn. If that creature is white, it gets minus four, minus four until end of turn instead. Iron Golem. Vigilance, it attacks or blocks each combat if able. <laughs> We've got our island. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, he's he's about at that age. Dragon Turtle. Flash, drag below. When it enters the battlefield, tap it uh, and up to one target creature and opponent controls. They don't untap during their controller's next untap steps. Is that card called Dirtle and Turtle? <laughs> 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 Through investigation, whenever you attack, investigate. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, venture into the dungeon. Teleportation circle. Yeah, we ain't seen one of those. Skipped. Shattering skeletons. Shattering skeletons. When it dies, venture into the dungeon. Yes, we have to read it twice because it's just that good. <laughs> Lurking roper doesn't untap during its in, during your untap step. Whenever you gain life, untap it. Yeah, the circle is kind of dope. We've got the Den of Bugbear. If you control two or more other lands, it enters the battlefield tap. You can tap, add red. You can tap three until end of turn. The, the Den becomes a 3-2 goblin creature with whenever this creature attacks, create a 1-1 one, one red, uh, red goblin creature token that's tapped and attacking. It's still a land. We've got an owl bear. <laughs> it has trample and keen senses. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card. We've got our long rest again. And our spider token. Last pack. Last pack. Whoop, hoo, hoo -hoo. Once again. Uh, this video is brought to you in part by Dueling Land, a card shop in Aurora, Colorado. If you have any magic needs, they, they carry sealed product, they carry singles. Uh, feel free to check them out on Facebook and Instagram. They're pretty uh, pretty active on those platforms. Oh, look! End, end with an owl bear. Start with an owl bear. Hootie hoo! Manticore. Zombie Ogre, at the beginning of your end step, if a creature died this turn, venture into the dungeon. <laughs> Compelled Duel, target creature gets plus three, plus three until end of turn and must be blocked this turn if able. Ray of Frost, when Ray of Frost enters the battlefield, if enchanted creature is red, tap it. As long as enchanted creature is red, it loses all abilities. Enchanted creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Temple of the Dragon Queen. Mountain. Meteor Swarm. Red, 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 X. Meteor Swarm deals 8 damage divided as you choose among X target creatures and or planeswalkers. Druid of Purification. When Druid of Purification enters the battlefield, starting with you, each player may choose an artifact or enchantment you don't control. Destroy each permanent chosen this way. Ooh, politics. The Book of Exalted Deeds. Think we've seen that one before. Rhyme Shield Frost Giant. Ward 3. Cloister Gargoyle. When clo Cloister Gargoyle cloister. enters... <laughs> Is it moister than a cloister? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Got him! When Cloister Gargoyle enters the battlefield, venture into the dungeon. 
As long as you've completed a dungeon, Cloister Gargoyle gets plus three up, plus O, and has flying. Westgate Regent. Flying, ward, discard a card. So here's an instance where the ward cost is not a mana cost, it's an, it's an alternate cost, discarding a card. Whenever Westgate Regent deals combat damage to a player, put that many plus one, plus one counters on it. That Pixie Guide. Yeah, this put in work for me at the pre-release. I, I was red, blue, dice rolling, and uh, love me a little Pixie Guide. Flying, if you would roll one or more dice, instead roll that many dice, plus one, and ignore the lowest roll. Dirtlin' Turtlin'. Yeah. <laughs> and another Lost Mine of Fandelver. All right, thank you. Yeah, the Regent is awesome, especially in that uh, black-blue... Uh, combat damage deck. Pretty yeah. powerful guy. I was talking about the regiment. That guy put in some work, like, just becomes an 8 8, then a 16, whatever. Like, it's just insane. Yeah, it just gets out of control quick. Alright, well, thank you. That's going to end our stream for tonight. We will uh, be back on again soon. Uh, busting open set booster packs. See you soon. Thank